Good morning, modern steaders. Today, we go and get our new goat. <laughs> Last night. Oh, yeah, we got a foot of snow, guys. Look at that. <laughs> if you've been watching our channel for a while and following us along on our journey, we've had a really snowy winter and we just started melting and losing about half of it. We could see oh, our gravel driveways. We had mud showing up here and there. And then we just got buried. <laughs> In a little while, we'll be going to the airport to pick up our new goat. Uh, so if you guys are new to the channel, thanks for coming over. We got a little bit of work to do to get the farm ready and get the animal chores done. Good morning, girls. I know, it's snowing out, but we're gonna feed you out here. If you're new to the channel, this is our pregnant goat, Willow. Buttercup, which is Willow's daughter. And then we have Blossom, which is Willow's sister's baby. You ready to go back inside, Pluto? Today's the fourth day of spring. We're not supposed to have snow like this. I had a feeling we were gonna have to dig out New York City. <sighs> I'm up to my knees in snow out here in the pasture. <laughs> I think the only thing I can do is laugh. Better take the snow off the roof before it falls back in front of the door. Ooh. That snow was a good foot and a half up on the door. <sighs> How we doing, Moose? Just lay an egg for us. She did. Uh, one. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 45 degrees out. I'm hoping we melt a lot of this snow. <laughs> you hiding over there on us, Figaro? I see you. He's gonna try to attack us. I see you! Well, the roof works good on the pasture pig mobile. Kept all the snow off and slid right off of it. I had just cleaned the bed of my truck out the other day. All the snow, so be ready for today's road trip to go get the goat. And look at it now, guys. <laughs> we need to shovel it out. haven't heard yet from the goat owner of how the drop-off has gone at the airport yet. The goat should be at the airport by now, but they're not leaving yet. So hopefully we'll be getting a phone call, a text, or something soon letting us know how that all went.
I'm hoping the goat's crate's going to fit in the back because it's kind of chilly and snowy out today. I don't want to have to put her in the bed of the truck. So the crate we're shipping was, I know, is 22 inches wide. So we got that. It's 38 inches long. We got to keep this seat for Olivia. And then, ah, oh, we're going to clear. Awesome. So we'll be able to keep the goat in the back on the ride home tonight. It's going to be in the wee hours of the night when we're coming home. So, fingers crossed. One of our friends and subscribers sent us a message last night saying that tonight we could be getting northern lights in New Hampshire. That's perfect because if there's northern lights, we should see them on the ride home tonight. That would be awesome to catch it on video. It's like, I want to play in the snow. We need to get some straw and hay to bring with us to the airport. Figure we might want to switch out her bedding when we get there. And she might want some fresh food. I would. I would. I'll bring her a bunch of water and a bowl. So that should do it. Let's do this. We don't need a lot. Are you watching? Are you? No, you're not. I don't know where Pluto went. What's that? I don't know where Pluto is. Pluto! Oh, why do you need to go that way? Stay over here. He says I can actually run. I know, it's all this snow. Anything in the deep snow. You got long legs, you can do it. She's like, I can't get over there. Oh, can you get over how tall this snow, these snow banks are? Yeah. It looks like a beautiful winter wonderland behind you. It does look really pretty when we were driving. I'm ready for spring though. I thought we were getting it the other day. <laughs> Me too. And then it snowed. And then we got a foot of snow. Look at those. Those I are up almost to your those are up almost to your shoulders. Yeah. Don't throw me in it. Pluto, come on to the house. Come on. Well, I'm glad the barn delivery was the other day before we got this big snowstorm. If you haven't seen the video of us getting the barn delivered, I'll put a link to that video right here. There, I got that all strapped in. Hopefully that doesn't blow out of the back of the truck. We have a two hour drive down to the airport. The flight comes in at 9.44 at night. So we'll probably get back here around 12 o'clock, 1 a.m. It's gonna be a long night, but it's gonna be worth it. I wanna go, I wanna check on all the animals, make sure everything's good. Before we leave. Oh yeah, you could use some hay. There you go. Oh, I'll we'll dump that out, give them fresh, fresh water. You're all spunky. You know you got a new friend coming, is that why you're being all spunky? Watch out. <laughs> what do you think, figure of all the snow, huh? <sighs> We got a package sent up from our friend that we're getting our goat from. 
Let's see what's in there. What do you think it is? Um, well, it's not the goat. No. No. It's probably something for her. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, look at that cute thing. Is that for me? No. No. Cute little hooded sweatshirt. Best friend ever. Oh, That's best so friend cute. ever. That'll help keep her warm. Yeah. Fun. Okay, we'll put it in our pack. Oh, look how tall that snowbank is compared to you. Put your head above your hand above your head. And then no, like and then up against the glass and I'll turn and walk away. It's like a head taller. So yeah, it's like six inches taller than you. Like a six inches taller than it. Yep. Yeah. Tanner, you can't nap. No napping allowed, dude. You ready to pack up so we can bring some stuff with us? We're just gonna bring an emergency pack that hopefully we don't have to use. That's right, so first, a well, water we'll dish. Use. We have our water dish, our sweatshirt. Oh yeah, we wanna bring the headlamp. Yep, yeah. charged it up. It's gonna be nighttime when we get her. Just in case we need to see. You ready to head out to the airport? Yeah. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, we've been waiting all day. I know. Let's go. That sun is bright. Look how tall those yeah. snow banks are. Ah, look at that. It does look pretty, even though we don't want it. the airport. Now we just gotta find the goat and get her back to the truck. You girls ready for the big adventure? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's definitely gonna be an adventure. Because <laughs> we have no idea where we're going. Nope. Or what we're doing. It's your first time to an airport, ladies, and it's to get a goat. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> After you? Look, we feel like we're at home now. <laughs> it's like a ghost town. <laughs> Where's the goat? Think she'll come out here? I hope not. You hope not? back up where we came from. There's no one here. I know. No goats. I hope she doesn't come out of there. You hope she doesn't come out of here? Yeah. Ah. I hope we can just go to that. That's where it's supposed, she's supposed to come out. Maybe. If she's oversized baggage. She's not that oversized. <laughs> You want to see Hope come on there? No. She's got to come up. She's not going to come up on that. Oh, God. She would think a big old Yeah, I know. I just 
Maybe they don't fall off the side somehow. I don't see our goat crate yet. I hope he doesn't come off that. <laughs> Arizona. Arizona? <laughs> yep. And what are you going to do? It's a pet? Uh, we milk him. Okay. It's a Nigerian dwarf, oh, so it's a yeah. milking. We get, wait till she gets about another, she's going to be about a year, year and a half old before we breed her. Wow. And then we'll use her then for... Then you, you have a farm or something? We have a small farm, yep, up in uh, northern New Hampshire. Can you please sign and print? Yep. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hope. Uh, Hi, Did you have a good ride? I can't really see her. You want to go open the door? Actually, why don't you girls wait right here? I'll go get the truck. Okay. And then I'll just park out up there. Yeah, that makes it easier so that you can just come back in. We gotta find our way out of this parking garage so we can get back to the girls and get Hope loaded up. The goat Hope we're picking up at the airport we got from our friends over at Weedemann Reap. I'm gonna put a link here in the description down below to a video you can go check out and see where her journey began. She comes all the way from Phoenix, Arizona, guys. This is crazy. So much fun. We're looking forward having her on our homestead going over to Weedman Reap's channel check out the video of her getting on the flight I haven't seen it yet as of shooting the video I'm excited to see how her how her journey started and now this is how it finishes man this is awesome go on over show them some love some support and we'll and let's continue our journey with hope Hi. What do you think? Excited. You're excited? Hi, Hope. Hi, girl. Yeah, are you gonna come home with us? Hi. Pretty girl. Wave. Hope, how is that ride? Is that crazy? Yeah. It smells like a barn well, in here. Barn, I smell chaff hay. Yeah. You girls awake? Mm -hmm. Now you are. Hey, Hope. You look nice and cozy. Yeah. All right, let's get you out and we'll get you down to the barn. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Hello. All right, Hope, so you've had your first car ride today, your first airplane ride, and now your first sled ride. You're so cute. You're so cute, Hope. Yep. <laughs> so the snow was not supposed to be here. What's that? The snow was not supposed to be here. No. They're like, what's going on, guys? Hi, Hope. Come on out, Hope. I know, this has been your home for the day, huh? I want to clean it out. You guys think, huh? What are you doing? Checking things out? 
Like, I want to check everything out. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty. There's all this stuff. This little tail is just a going. Wow. Wow. What is that, guys? Huh? Yeah. Is that another goat? You guys stay over here for a few days. Yeah. Oh, Willow's like, hey, I'm checking her out. You yeah, guys leave baby. her alone. We brought you another friend. This one came all the way from Phoenix. Checking each other out already. A little sniffy sniff. Do you hear that noise is going? <laughs> She's like, hold me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, my lap. <laughs> right. She's just a chewing her cud. <laughs> she just burped up more. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, burped up more cud instead of chewing it. So you've been eating during the plane ride, huh, Hope? Eating and drinking. Yeah, I don't know. Well, probably her water bottle was full and it was. Three quarters of them. I was gonna say, I only dumped out about a quarter of the water, yeah. What was that? that? Sounded like a whinny coming from a horse. Did Danelle send us a horse? Are you a donkey? All right, Hope, sleep <laughs> tight, stay warm. We got her covered in lots of straw for insulation and a blanket, and she's got her sweater on. She's staying nice and warm. She's getting comfy in there. Good night, Hope. We'll see you in the morning. Blossom, you're being noisy. Why are you being so? Why are you being so noisy? Yeah, you're excited. You got a new buddy. Good night, girls. It's 1 a.m. now. I'm going to go inside, get some sleep. We're not going to end the video here. I'll come back in the morning and probably four hours-ish. And we'll check in on Hope and the rest of the goats and see how they're doing. So I'm going to go get a little bit of shut-eye and we'll be right back. Good morning. 6.30 in the morning the next morning. Everybody else is still sleeping. I didn't want to get out of bed, but I figured I better come down and let Hope out. <laughs> 12 degrees out this morning, guys. So, let's go in the goat barn and see how Hope did. Good morning, Hope. I hear ya. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, girl. Did you survive your first New Hampshire night? You did. Let's Oh, I put my hand under her sweatshirt. She's nice and warm, guys. She's nice and warm. Good morning. Yes. Can you believe we got a goat from Arizona in our goat barn? No. I believe it, because there is one. <laughs> there is. Yeah, well, there is one, but... Um... It's actually pretty nice out right now. Yeah, I don't know how you would find it. Hope's calling for you. She's calling for you. goats think? Very curious, huh? Not a big girl. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time you really get to see her, huh, Livies? Yeah. Got to see her yeah. in the crate, but... <laughs> Try getting, crouching on your hands and knees and see if she jumps on your back like she did Kevin. Yeah. She's 
Look at that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to jump where she goes. No. <laughs> 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 what is she going to try to do? She's going to try jumping on you. Oh. Let's get on you. <laughs> 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 I don't like that. <laughs> I wasn't at the door. I didn't know you had to jump on my head. She's yeah. like, I am a goat. I am Tilly's baby. Right. You like her? Yeah. Oh, you got a new buddy. Yeah. That's what that makes me nervous when she comes at me like that. So, Hope, what was the temperature in Phoenix yesterday when you left, huh? Probably like 82 or something. Oh, <laughs> the cat's in the goat barn. She's so content chewing her cud. Is that some good cud? <laughs> <laughs> that was her? Yeah, that, that, that was her getting her cud back up. What are you doing, Figaro? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you want to see the new goat? You want to see the new goat? I think I hear Figaro up on the roof. <laughs> Figaro, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he slid right down. <laughs> Oh yeah, you didn't get hurt. There's nothing to... You're silly. You're a crazy cat. <sighs> Bye, Hope. We'll be back out in a little bit. I haven't edited any of today's video, so we might be all over the place. Going back and forth to seeing Hope. But we're gonna get him ready for bed now. And look at that beautiful sunset. <sighs> I hear Hope calling. You guys hear her? Here you go, Hope. You can have some chaff, hey? You're nice and warm. That's where we're gonna end today's video. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and Hope's journey to New Hampshire from Weedham and Reap down in Phoenix, Arizona, guys. What a trip. She is doing awesome. I'm so glad we got her. We are all loving her. And it's going to be so much fun to watch her grow up, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.